To be able to use the EWR2, you have to first connect the gas hoses and the shunt. You then connect an Ethernet cable to the EWR2 and connect the opposite side of the cable to the computer. For short time measurements, you can decide for the optional USB on the jack. To do this, you have to remove the cover on the EWR2 unit and locate the jack plug. When you push the cable into the plug, you will hear a slight click. This connects the cable. Then plug the opposite end of the cable into any USB port on your computer. After you have connected one of the two connection cables, you can connect to the power supply. For the power supply, you can choose between three options. Option one, is to use the standard power connector by attaching it to the unit and screwing it tight, then connecting the power plug into the socket. Option two is to supply the power with a 10 meter cable that has an open cable end. Simply plug the connector on the EWR2 and screw tight. Then connect the open end of the line to a power source of 24 volts. The cable can withstand a voltage variance of plus or minus 20%. The third option is voltage supply with voltage transformers. For this option, insert the plug onto the EWR2 device and tighten it. Then connect the open end of the line to a voltage source. This can be fed with 20 to 50 volts AC-DC. The voltage converter supplies a constant 24 volts to the EWR2. The whole length of the cable is 10 meters.